Hey guys! Be honest, are you happy with the current version of Photoshop? As for me, I am a seasoned Photoshop user, I've been using this program since the CS2 version. But as of late, I grew to dislike Adobe handles their products. That is why I've been searching high and low for an alternative, and today I'll share my discoveries with you. In this video, I'll review the top free photo editors that might serve as Photoshop alternatives. Some options are completely free, some come with a paid subscription that is, however, not obligatory. So, let's dive into the review. Let's start with a fairly simple editor called Sumo, also known as Sumo Paint. This is a little-known service uh, that most of you have probably never heard of. If you have, Share your thoughts in the comments. Anyhow, Sumo is a web-based service, so you only need your browser to operate it. Would I call it a Photoshop alternative? Actually, yes, although it has certain limitations. This is more of a graphic design app than a full-fledged photo editor. Sumo supports layer editing, has tons of brushes and effects, shadow, glow, emboss, etc. The only downside to the software is the absence of the pen tool for image cropping. Sumo is fine for casual graphic designers to toy around, for a day or two. By the way, if you don't need your software to be free, but you do need to be a decent Photoshop alternative, then PhotoWorks will be a great choice for you. This photo editor is equipped with a minimalistic interface, pretty efficient color correcting tools, and quite a number of built-in effects. The software lets you change or remove a photo background with basically no effort and retouch portraits in just a few clicks. With it, you can fix perspective flaws, and delete random photo bombers from your pics. You can also batch process and watermark dozens of images at once. If you know your way around color grading, then you'll love the integrated 3D LUT presets as well as an opportunity to upload your own. The program is super easy to use, it supports over 450 RAW formats and runs smoothly even on older PCs. Granted, the software isn't free and only has a free trial, but it costs so much less than the Adobe product. So for me, PhotoWorks is a great alternative to Photoshop and Lightroom. On the off chance you find it hard to master the photo editor, it has tons of tutorials online. You can get better acquainted with the software if you follow the link in the description. That's all about PhotoWorks, let's move on. Since one of our previous entries was an app for graphic designers, it's only fitting to tackle a photo editor for hardcore photographers. Chances are you've heard of Lightroom, but what about a darkroom? Funny thing, that's the name of the workspace inside Darktable. This is free software developed by photographers for photographers. With it, you can perform in-depth enhancement of your RAW files. You can also use Darktable for tethering shooting. However, you need to make sure that the camera model you are using is supported by the software. But still, if you only plan to use Darktable to fix your images, you'll have all the tools for the job. I'm talking exceptional color and exposure correction, the curves, HSL, metadata editing, etc. There is a downside to this otherwise great tool. Darktable was not developed by software engineering professionals, but by enthusiasts. And it shows. The interface is cluttered and the workflow is confusing. Polar is a feast for eyes and soul. The software has a very sleek minimalistic interface and comes equipped with a respectable toolkit. The app is cross-platform, which is a treat in its own right. There is no need to install the software to your computer or mobile device, you can work on it right in the browser. You might want to get a pro subscription to the service, but you might as well skip it. After all, the free version of Polar has enough features and tools for a casual user. But I should also mention that Polar does not support RAW formats. Now it's time for an AI-fueled entry. Enter Pixlr, a cloud-based photo editor. It has two versions marked with letters E and X. The X option is a simplistic editor for a quick photo enhancement, whereas the E version offers more advanced tools and features. I'd rather spare you the narration and demonstrate the differences right on the screen. The feature I want to highlight is the easy background removal. It literally takes only a few seconds to strip your images of its backdrop. I've tried quite a few pictures and each time I was amazed by the swiftness for the images the software was able to process. 
that is. I don't think that Photoshop can match the speed. Pixlr supports the PSD format, offers tools for cropping, layer editing, a set of brushes and a library of AI-powered filters. Granted, the photo editor is not without flaws, as it really lags when working with heavier PSD projects and can sometimes crash very unexpectedly. Can you imagine a browser-based Photoshop? This is what PhotoP is all about. It not only has a similar interface, but also in many respects replicate Photoshop's toolkit. And yes, it supports PSD. So if you need to touch up a certain Photoshop project, import it to PhotoP and have your way with it. This cloud-based service is perfect for those who need to edit their images but have no immediate access to Photoshop. Granted, you need a stable internet connection to operate PhotoP. But hey, at least you don't have to pay a fortune for a subscription. Just be aware of the constant ads that might distract you from the photo editing experience. GIMP has been around since 1995. Fun fact. The software has no established developer or publisher. This is an open source program, which means that anyone can get access to it and it is not required to pay a single cent. GIMP's features include, but are not limited to, cropping, color correction, batch processing, graphic design instruments, PSD support, layer editing, and so on. But despite being free and quite feature-rich, GIMP is a nightmare to master. The interface is far from being user-friendly and the workflow is pretty confusing. If you are a Linux user and need a free and capable photo editor, by all means, go with GIMP. But if you have a regular PC or Mac, then you'll be better off with something else. Sure, the photo editors I've reviewed vary in many regards, but I really hope that you were able to find a program that would let you break free from the Photoshop's grasp. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.